today I'm going to talk about feminism and the body positivity movement in uh, recovery. Um, this is really, really important to me because it actually really, really, really helped my recovery. Um, during the recovery process, I got really involved with feminism and it's become really, really, really important to me. Um, and it actually helped so much um, during the recovery process because it really empowers you um, about your body and about yourself in general. Um, and I think, like, obviously it's mostly centred around women, obviously, um, but it's also about men as well. And the same goes for the body positivity movement. Um, obviously most of it is centred around body positivity around women, just because women um, get the brunt of negativity around bodies most of the time um, in the media and in life in general. Um, <clears throat> obviously that's not to downplay the effects that it can all have on men as well because um, there is negativity towards men's bodies as well and, and you know there are unrealistic standards that men also feel that they have to live up to and that's you know it's not only just for women but it is you know most of it is around women um, but that's not to say that it doesn't have a negative effect on men too so yeah um, so feminism that became part of my recovery process um, early on I mean I did I didn't link it to my recovery process at the time it became something that I became really passionate about um, I can't really pinpoint when um, I have to say it's probably a lot down to um, my partner at the time he was into history and politics but he was also a feminist and he was really into kind of he would tell me about political stuff to do with women in politics and women in general um and at the time when i was ill i didn't really pay attention but it must have something must have gone in because um it really resonated with me uh, during recovery and i got really into the whole feminist movement um um so yeah and I don't know, I didn't really link it until actually somebody suggested doing a video on this. Um, and I hadn't thought about linking it to re my recovery until that person suggested it. And I thought, of course, like it had everything to do with my recovery. Um, it really, really was a big part of it. Um, and it really helped me to accept my body. Same with the body positivity movement, that also, which I think is kind of feminism as well, really. Um, they both kind of interlink together. And they both really, really, really helped me. Um, I just feel like it gave me a lot more confidence and um, I felt very empowered. And I also changed my own judgments and um, Eurotopia really helped with that as well. I mean, just there's so many things that all together have changed my perspective so much on food, on weight, on body shape and size on like whether you should shave or not on all different topics that have really come together and made me very confident and positive about all bodies um and doing whatever the hell you want to do with it because it's your own body um and it just gave me the confidence to express myself as i am to accept my body as it is and to do with it what i please and you know um it's good because both feminism and body positivity look at different things from different angles. For example, makeup. Um, you know, if you don't want to ma wear makeup, th then don't wear makeup. Like, you don't, you shouldn't feel like you're forced to wear makeup. And, you know, I could go on about this all day. But on the opposing side, if you want to wear makeup and you're wearing it because you want to wear it because it makes you feel more confident, then wear makeup too. Like, yes, obviously, um, our society says you should wear makeup as a woman um, and you will get judged if you're not wearing it um, but you know it comes from both sides you shouldn't have to wear it if you don't want to wear it um, and if but if you do that doesn't make you a bad feminist because you want to wear makeup because it makes you feel more confident both sides are great and there are so many topics that both body positivity and feminism goes into that see both sides of things and basically it's just about doing what you want to do with your own body. Um, obviously if it's unhealthy, again, 
then maybe there needs to be an intervention such as eating disorders um, or self-harm or something like that. But um, you get what I mean. I mean the positive things about doing what you want, like if you want to shave or you don't want to shave, if you want to wear makeup or you don't want to wear makeup, if you want to cut your hair short or you want to have your hair long, if you want to, I don't know, anything, just anything. If you want to sleep with a hundred people in a month or like you don't want to sleep with anyone at all, you can do with your body what you want to do with your body and I feel like I'm just gonna go off on like a feminist rant now. Um, not that a feminist rant's a bad thing, just just that yeah I'm trying to relate this, keep this related to recovery, but actually it is, it's really about empowering yourself to do what you want to do in your life, be who you are, do what you want with your own body and fuck everyone else's judgment because you know as long as you're not actually hurting anybody with your actions surrounding your body or yourself then fucking do what you want to do um you know i think a good example is the whole you know sleep with whoever you want to sleep with because you know sex is great and if you want to have sex with a hundred people in a month as long as you're doing it safely not putting yourself at risk by going back to a stranger's house without telling anyone where you are or you know putting yourself at risk by not using protection um then it doesn't matter you you sleep with whoever you want to sleep with sex is great enjoy it if you want to put your body out there and have sex with loads of people that's fine as long as you're not hurting anyone like you know sleeping with somebody else's boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever you know yeah do what the fuck you want um i'm so good yeah you know see i just go off on these rants because it's so important to me all of this um so yeah, I followed a lot of body positivity blogs and feminist blogs on Tumblr during my recovery and um, it just really helps me seeing that stuff on my dashboard and it really helped me when I was struggling because again, I keep using the word empowered but it really, really does make you feel empowered like seeing that other people are confident and strong and courageous and can go and do all these things and it really inspired me to do those things too. You know, like... I didn't used to go anywhere without makeup, I don't believe, um, but now I actually really don't care that much, like I will go into town and get stuff and not wear any makeup if I can't be bothered to put any on, you know, if I, because you know, if I'm just going into town and coming back again I just can't be bothered to put on a full face of makeup, um, but equally I also really enjoy wearing makeup, it makes me feel very confident so when I go see someone I will generally wear makeup, not always, you know, my friends come over and I'm not wearing makeup, I also don't care, you know, I don't know, I don't know, it's just really helpful, um, and it just, just seeing all the body positivity stuff as well really helped me accept my body, now, you know, I'm not very overweight by BMI terms or whatever, and a lot of body positivity is focused on people who are, uh, bigger than the accepted norm, um, but you know what, like I also found lots of body positivity surrounding all bodies, you know, people who are naturally very thin, people who are naturally curvy, people who have an hourglass shape, people who have an apple shape and all these other random shapes that I don't understand where the names come from but, well I do for some but, you know, all these weird body name types, you know, like, and not just accepting, um, you know, because a lot some some body positivity blogs are a bit questionable. For example, they post a lot of images of the hourglass shape, um, which has kind of become a new societal norm, like a a new body we're supposed to idolise, I guess. Because I feel like it was the very thin models, then there was the, all the fitspo and everything, and now it's kind of the curvy, but curves in the right places. You know, like big boobs, big hips big bum and thighs but having a small waist um, and some of those body positivity blogs are questionable because they don't actually support all body shapes and if you don't have curves in all the right places your body is also great you know it's good to make sure that you follow blogs that are celebrating all bodies as long as they are healthy and happy then it doesn't matter what shape size or weight you are and all bodies need to be celebrated and um, all bodies need to be accepted um, by yourself and by other people so yeah as you as you can see I'm very passionate about this it's helped me I 
continue repeating that, but I really cannot stress enough how much that it has been a had a positive effect on my recovery and on my confidence and um my ability to just feel comfortable with who I am and what my body looks like um again I didn't really think about the link I mean obviously body positivity that's pretty obvious but I didn't really think about the link between feminism and and uh, my recovery but it just made me feel very strong and as if you know if I have something fight like worth fighting for and something that I feel needs to be fought for then um, I was fighting for myself to be like like I wanted everybody else to be as well you know um, if I'm going to fight for people to feel comfortable with their bodies at whatever weight shape size or to do whatever they want to do with their bodies um, then I need to fight for that for myself too and I did and now I feel that I have been enabled to do that um, and I'm very well I'd say not very but I am pretty comfortable with myself now and my body and I actually I mean very, it's been quite a recent thing because it's been a very difficult ongoing process um, but I actually feel comfortable with my own body now you know yeah okay I do when I'm in the shower I'm a bit like oh wish that wasn't there or I wish that would, wouldn't do that or you know there are things that I'm not like woo I love it but I'm actually comfortable with the weight shape and size I am like I don't really think about it that much anymore um, because I like myself as a person and I don't hate my body it's it's cool it's whatever sometimes I even like it actually you know sometimes I think yeah quite like that so I've come like such a long way and as I keep saying, I do owe a large part of that to the body positivity movement and to feminism. And I do suggest that you yourself have have a look into it because, um, yeah, it's it's helpful. It's positive. It's inspiring. It's motivating. Um, so, yeah, take a look. Follow some blogs. You know, it can just help seeing those daily reminders on your dashboard on tumblr or maybe you follow someone on twitter um or you know whatever whatever social media you're on um i think tumblr is probably the most helpful just because you see so much of it every day on your dashboard if you're following those types of blogs um that seeing those you know daily reminders that your body's beautiful how it is naturally and you are awesome and you can do whatever you want with your own body and with yourself really um, again, as I said, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Um, yeah, it's very, very, very useful and helpful just to continue seeing that because it really does get drilled into your brain after a while. Um, just, just seeing all those reminders every single day. Um, yeah, it's very positive. So yeah, after that like 13 minute rant about it, you know, positive rant though, I think. I think that was a, it was a good rant. Um, yeah. Go, go research it, go start reading stuff. Um, it's just, you know, The Vagenda's really good. That's a blog online, on Blogger, I think. Um, I can't really think of any others off the top of my head, but you know, you can find it by just typing in, you know, like Tumblr feminism or Tumblr body positivity. Then I found like massive lists of like body positivity blogs on Tumblr and, and I'm sure for other social media stuff as well. Um, so yeah, it's important, I think. I mean, feminism is massively important, Pos body positivity is massively important, it's all really important, and I really highly suggest that you go and have a look at it. Obviously, as I said, it's probably mostly, well not feminism, but body positivity, mostly aimed at women a lot of the time, but I'm pretty sure there are male body positivity blogs as well. Um, and obviously feminism is useful for both men and women, it really is, so if you're not really familiar with it, go educate yourself about it, get into it, it's really important for both genders. Um, so yeah, that that is it, that is my almost 15 minutes talking about that. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody is well um, and having a good week and as usual challenging your eating disorder, fighting for your life and yeah
doing some positive things for yourself, moving forward. Um, I got my hair cut now and I really like it. It's all choppy at the top and then it's still got its length at the bottom. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah. I have a day off work today and it's sunny outside and I'm being productive and getting things done. And um, yeah, I had a ten and a half hour sleep last night. That seems to happen like because I do earlies um, a lot of the time, which means I'm in work by 7.30 or I'm in work by 7.45 and do a 15 hour shift, well 14 and a half hour shift till 10.15 at night. Um, and I worked three earlies in a row um, the last, the past three days. And after that, and when I have a day off, I always sleep for like ten and a half hours. So, yeah, obviously just exhausts me quite a lot, but I really enjoy it, obviously. But yeah, I always like sleep loads. So I had a good sleep last night. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go edit some photos because I've actually been doing some photography recently. Um, doing some body photography which is my favorite stuff to do so yeah i'm gonna go edit them um so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will speak to you next week